Yes, yeah, Sue, what's going on out there? Wind. Wow. Just to clarify, are we dealing with a gusty type of wind or a constant wind? Well, Miguel, there's a gusty wind, and yet it's also constant. I guess you could say it's kind of a gustiness that remains constant. Sue, is this the kind of wind that will blow things over? Well, Diane, nothing has blown over yet, but history has shown us that wind is dangerous. It can blow, and things will move. Sue, I'm sure the viewers at home are wondering what I'm wondering right now. Could these high winds blow the killer bees directly into our backyards? Yes, Diane, it is possible. This is exactly the type of climate they thrive on. Ooh, that, wow, is that is bad scary news, boy, stuff. isn't it? It yes, really it is. is. Yes, it's just it is. frightening. Yes. Don't put on a mask tonight. No. You know, uh, we, if you've just tuned in, we are talking about Windstorm 97. Windstorm 97. Sue, I understand you have someone out there in the field with you, is that right? Yes, I do, Miguel. This is Rosa Marticorena. Could you please step forward here? Could you please describe what horrible ordeal has happened to you? Yes, I was standing across from a sprinkler when all of a sudden the wind blew uh, the water from the sprinkler on my shirt. As you can see, Diane Miguel, a visible water stain is there. Ooh, God, you hate to see that. Don't I know it, Diane? I've been wet before, and you know, it's times like those that you really cherish your children. Now, just to clarify, Chance, could these high winds blow the killer bees out of our backyards and into our garages? Diane, with bees and with wind, anything is possible. Wow. I've got to tell you, tonight is not the night to buy a lottery ticket. And how? And, oh, excuse me, Miguel. I believe we have Sue back in the field. Sue? Diane. Sue, can you hear me? Diane, can you hear me? Go ahead, Sue. Sue? Diane? Okay, okay. Do we have... Okay, Sue? Sue Diane. What's, yes, what's going on out there, Sue? Diane, this rapper was not here just a moment ago. <laughs> Apparently, it must have blown here. Oh, my God. Windstorm 97. You know, Sue, uh, maybe you should get out of there. But first, Sue, let me throw a question at you. Sue, could these high winds blow the killer bees out of our garages and into our bathrooms where they could lay eggs in our ears and eventually burrow into our brains? Diane, I'm sorry. I think oh. we're breaking. OK. Oh, uh, you know what? I've... Have, we lo have we lost her? Charlie? Yes, we've yeah. lost visual contact with Sue. Yes, OK. I hope she's all right. I, My Diane. Brain. Yes. Yes, we are. Sue, yes, thank you. Sue, let me ask you a quick question. When the wind hits the bees, do they panic, do we uh, think? Excuse or... me, Diane, I am sorry to break in, uh, but we have just received word. The President of the United States has been assassinated. Anyway, when we return, we will have our continuing exclusive coverage of Windstorm 97. Storm 97. Also, when we return, you will hear the actual 911 call of the first person to report the wind. Have you heard it yet, Diane? No, I haven't, but I understand it's harrowing. Oh, it is just one of the many stories to come out of Windstorm 97, folks. Windstorm 97. And don't miss News at 6 and 11 with Bee Swarm 97.